dinner from Lucan Seafood and Poultry. And our buddy Mike Lucan is here from Finley Market. Hey, Mike. Hi, how are you Hi, tonight? Mike. What are you doing? The helpers you brought with I us brought today. Richard and Chelsea. Hi, guys. Hi. So Hello. we're going to make a little shrimp pasta dish today. Oh, that sounds Kind of nice good. in the summer and whatever. Richard's a trained chef. Worked with Jean Robert for a long time. Oh, so. well, then you know what you're doing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Would you just put in the So pot? for once, I get to stand back and look a little bit. Okay. Got a little bit of garlic, a little bit of onion. Mm. Bacon. A little bacon. Bacon and shrimp. I like oh, yeah. that. That's two of my favorite things. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Classic combination. Actually, like shrimp. I do. Quite a bit. I know. I was I was just at the uh, I was just at the market not too long ago. It is hopping down yeah, there. It's crazy. Yeah, it's absolutely crazy. It's Ever, great to see. Yeah. And, the, and swordfish. Sheila's favorite has to be shrimp and swordfish. He knows we know it. I go shopping at a seafood shop. All right, Richard. What else did you put in there? Oh, we got shrimp. But, well, it's like a very summery dish. Okay. I put some chanterelles, which our butcher Andrew found foraging in East Fork. Those are mushrooms, right? Yeah, yeah. So you he can went so, foraging for them. Yeah, he loves to do that. So that's uh, cool. But you, yeah. know, you can replace it with any type of mushroom, mushroom. you like. Okay. So you don't have to go foraging. Because I'm not gonna go foraging. Right. Exactly. So. <laughs> you know, cool though. And all these ingredients I got from Finley Market. I got the. Uh, the zucchini from uh, Roth Produce. I got mm -hmm. some tomatoes from, uh, what's the other one? Madison's. Uh, th you can get oh, all Madisonos, this stuff. Yeah. It's real quick, simple. I mean, we're on TV, so I've already got some made. So. What's that? This is a little shrimp stock I made with the shrimp shells. Oh, like, just real quick. Oh, like, sure you know, cooking should be fun. And, you yeah. know, like, it only took me about, from to make the shrimp stock, only took me 20 minutes, you know. And, the whole dish should only take you about an hour total. What would you serve that with? Uh, Just some pasta, maybe? And then... Well, you have pasta. You happen to have some pasta. Yeah. Well. Hey, great minds. Think alike. <laughs> and just add your pasta. I, I'd used a little paparadel that I got uh, from Bouchard's. Yum. I love their pasta. It's yeah, so, so good. Ugh. That's good. Okay, now I, I'm going to stump you. If I have a kid at home who doesn't like shrimp... Oh, Lord. Oh, what would you do? What would you do? I guess they're going to bed with no food. I guess they're going to bed with no food. Go to bed with no food or Mike said a hot dog. Mike, give him a hot dog. <laughs> stop, <laughs> at, stop on the way home and give him a happy meal. And then you eat your shrimp. You and your husband. Well, you I do Rick and sit there and eat the shrimp. Okay. And eat, and, what the heck? But I do have, I have two children. that are two and yeah. four. So, yeah, chicken is always an easy replacement okay. for it. Okay. And then you just let it cook for a little bit. And voila, you're done. A little herb. You made that nice. super fast, that Richard. Well, yeah, fast. I mean, that's the whole point. You know, I have two kids. you got to be quick with their meals. Yeah, like, you don't want to be spending they, all day in there. No, no. So right. with the magic of TV, oh, we you already show have Show us it. the finished product. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, that does look beautiful. Yeah, it, and it's nice. It's fresh. It's quick. And I know yeah. that's what, what everyone's looking for. What else is fresh at the shop this week, Mike? Actually, swordfish is running really good for the grill and stuff like that. Okay. Actually, there's no tuna this week. I couldn't find tuna either wow. in Florida, Boston, anywhere. Okay. So, no tuna. So full go for moon. the swordfish. Tuna's swordfish. Sheila sword, loves it. That swordfish hits on full moons. Tuna hits on no moons. All right. Moons. Or the shrimp. And, no. yeah. and then we got a lot of other things coming in, too. You know, the normal things, the cod and the a okay. lot of halibut this time of year. Ooh, yeah. Halibut's okay. running really too. nice. All right. Yeah. Good. Thank you all so much. <laughs> you made that so easy for us. Absolutely. For sure. Thank you guys so much for coming on.